Hey there guys, today I'm going to show you what I am hoping will be the most boring video I make this year and that is going to be pouring a little shop entry ramp into the shipping container shop. It's been something that I have thought of ever since I built this shop but for whatever reason I am just now getting to it. But now I have it and I will show you the process. Now as for why am I starting out with such a boring project? Well I figure most people in the new year like to start off on a high note and I want to buck that trend and start off on a low boring note and just keep soaring through the rest of the year so let's get to that and then I'll talk about uh, maybe other projects and stuff coming up is this mic on test test one two three <laughs> I'm just messing around with you guys. Okay, so as you are probably familiar with, this is the gap that is in between my shop pad and my shop. And my original plan was to use this little aluminum plate that I got from my dad. I don't remember where he got it, but he got it for free. And I was going to mount this in position until I brought my welding cart up and realized that it was just barely going to be big enough. And then I started thinking about the potential of stepping off the side of this and maybe twisting an ankle. So that is why I'm deciding to pour a concrete slab today. And you can see how I have been getting my welding cart in and out of this shop for the past couple of years. So obviously a ramp is necessary. For the forms, I just used some scrap plywood that I had on hand and I cut it at a slight angle so as to mimic the slope going from the shop pad up to the shop. And then for mixing concrete, I just did it the same way. I always do it in a concrete mixing tub. And the only difference between this and most other concrete pours is you'll notice that I'm gonna start out with it being relatively dry so that the concrete will hold the slope a little bit better. And because it is concrete, I'm gonna add a little music here to make it a little more interesting. So as many of you know by now, when it comes to concrete and small projects like this, I have no problems using whatever metal I have on hand to provide a little bit of reinforcement. Concrete has a great compression strength, but it doesn't have much tensile strength. So just a little bit of uh, wire mesh or some rebar really serves to prevent cracks from forming in the concrete. And honestly, if I didn't have this mesh, I would use some old chicken wire or fencing or whatever else I had on hand. After that last clip where you saw me taking off the forms, I went ahead and filled in some of the holes that were on the sides. Uh, that was just created because I was trying to use a little bit drier of a mix so that it would stay uh, for this angled section. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. My transition from the main pad to the step from about here to here is about perfect. But I do have just one little low spot right here where it's just a little bump. And then uh, where it meets my shop is pretty close to perfect, but it's probably about an eighth of an inch um, below the level to where it's just a perfect transition. So I have another option. 
that I've been thinking about, and that is to add a piece of aluminum right here. I would just silicone it in place. And when I add that, it actually makes this transition pretty much perfect. So I'll probably keep it just as the concrete, but uh, definitely let me know in the comments what you guys like better. And who knows, maybe I'll add this. So it's been a couple of days since I filmed that last clip talking about what I wanted to do with the concrete entry ramp. If I should leave it just bare concrete or um, add the aluminum plate on top. And honestly, I'm just still just not sure. Uh, so the call remains out to you guys. What do you think would be better to have here? I really like the look of aluminum, but you know, I'm just still unsure and I'd like to get your opinion. As to what is coming up next, well, you may have noticed but the awning is now up and finished. So that's kind of a huge deal. That will be um, either the next video or the video after that. Um, related to the awning, I will still have to decide on what kind of siding I'm gonna do in the gray area on the, uh, that upper portion of the shop. I'm debating whether to go with wood or composite or metal. Um, it's ultimately just a cost thing, but uh, uh, that probably will not be connected to the awning video <laughs> because I just wanna be done with that. Uh, but anyway, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And in addition to that, I will also be able to get rid of all of the old hail damage roofing from my house. Uh, the reason I had this still laying around is because it is what I re-roofed the shop with and my daughter's playhouse slash tiny house. Um, I'll probably keep probably about maybe 600 square feet of it just uh, so that I can use on future projects, but the rest of it I just need to get rid of because I got this pile and I have a pile way over there and then I have one on the other side of my house. And it's just kind of been one of those things that have <laughs> kind of bugged me. Oh, and since I mentioned the playhouse slash tiny house, because that's what everyone calls it, um, I also will be residing that where that uh, kind of redwood fence board siding is. I'll reside that in the same stuff that I reside the top portion of the shop. And since I mentioned using some of the old roof panels on some future projects, I figure I'll give you a little bit of a cue as to what some of those will be. Uh, this is my garden and I used to do videos on it every so often, but I haven't really the past couple of years just because we didn't have a really great time gardening with pests and weather and stuff like that. But we are going to recommit and get back to it. Um, so I've made some repairs to my garden fence. I added some new hardware cloth and trying to just uh, revitalize the project. And I removed all the old beds um, and I'm planning on building some new ones that will incorporate some of that roofing metal. So that will be one of the up and coming projects that I use uh, that roofing on. However, all of that will take quite a bit of time and is not likely what you're going to see in the very immediate future. What I'm really excited about is the fact that this awning is now done and I have a great workspace here once again and I can get back to uh, some of the smaller projects that are just fun and they kind of break things up <laughs> in between these kind of bigger, more backbreaking projects. Uh, so some of those that you will see uh, coming up will be um, some cornhole boards, but they're not going to be the normal cornhole boards as I plan to make them out of all aluminum so I can just leave them outside on a permanent basis. And then I also plan on making a little saw blade knife, um, which I'm still trying to figure out the profile that I want, but I figure those will just be kind of fun projects. And in addition to that, I plan on doing some kind of adventure style videos where I go hiking or camping or just different things like that. Uh, that are kind of more soul recharging videos uh, for my mental well-being. Uh, so anyway, I think that, that might be it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. <laughs> Hopefully it was interesting and maybe gave you some ideas for your own projects. As I mentioned before, let me know your thoughts on the aluminum diamond plate or the uh, just leaving the ramp bare concrete. Um, I didn't mention it before, but there is another type of aluminum diamond plate I may try to uh, see if I can get a scrap piece of that looks exactly like that stuff, um, but it's called tread plate and it's got little uh, embossed uh, grooves on the top of the diamonds. 
um, because I'm sure some of you will uh, wonder if that's going to be slippery if it gets wet. Um, but uh, hopefully it shouldn't get wet because it's got an awning on it now. Um, <laughs> that is one thing. I don't know if I mentioned uh, the way I'm going to film this, um, but as you can see, the awning is now pretty much finished. So that will be uh, either the next video or the video after that. And one other thing that I did not mention is that as part of the awning getting back up and now this shop is all roofed again, um, I am going to rehook up all the gutters and uh, rainwater harvesting stuff that goes into this cistern right there. And uh, I will definitely film that. I didn't film it uh, the first time, um, but I know a lot of you guys have interests on the rainwater harvesting stuff. So I'll try to uh, make an effort uh, to kind of detail all the stuff that I'm doing with that. So, as always, I will see you guys next time. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. And uh, I guess that's it. See ya.